Love you guys. I heard Brett say that the chances of significant life extension were very low. Was Aubrey de Grey selling me a dream? Are you familiar with his work? Please answer. Love you guys. Been with you for years. Uh, yeah, Aubrey was selling you a bill of goods. Um, Aubrey has brought good to the world, but by and large, his line about this is an engineering problem, let's just solve it, is nonsense. It can't work. There are lots of engineering problems that one can specify that are intractable. This happens to be one for reasons we know. Uh, so let's just say that the very problem that you want to solve in this case has a downside that you will invite if in fact you solved it. And even if Aubrey was right in all of his categories of things that you have to solve in order to beat this, there's another one lurking right behind it, right? Which is, do you really want to have a 20 year old body with a 90 year old brain, right? We don't have a clue how to fix the informational problem that comes from having a brain that was built for 80 years of life and the fact that you might extend it indefinitely. In other words, you'd have to do a whole lot more forgetting in order to get that thing to work. And we just don't have a system that works that way, nor would you be a functional person if your brain was upgraded to work that way or downgraded or whatever it would have to be. And then if you even take those two critiques, the problem that he says is tractable isn't, even if it was the brain issue right behind it is devastating to anything. There's no life that you would want to live that would be the result of having solved all of the mechanistic cellular stuff. Um, but then there's this other problem, which is who knows what pathologies would emerge if you were able to live to 150? Do you know why we don't know? Because nobody ever lives to 150. So the point is selection has had no ability to clean up the life after the maximum human longevity. So therefore, what you've got is basically an invitation to new pathologies that are liable to be extreme and so numerous, there's nothing to do anything about. Um, so yeah, I'm not a fan of this style of thinking. I think it is a, a waste of time and money. And the reason it is a waste of time and money is that you could take the same money and the same time and you could invest it in extending average lifespan rather than maximum lifespan and we would make great gains we know that because we already do make great gains we've greatly increased maximum longevity we've basically extended youth and we could extend that to more people or do an even better job of it so anyway yeah it's a bill of goods and um i guess there's nothing to be done about it because fountains of youth are very attractive even if they don't exist and that's where we are 